Hey guys, I wanted to show you a pretty cool feature in Illustrator that that I feel is worth putting on YouTube. I've sort of been looking around the internet trying to create some cool brushes and things. I mean, I'm more of a Photoshop guy myself, but I wanted to do this in a vector application, and I'm somewhat familiar with Illustrator, and I know there's ways to do arrowheads. I've seen a lot of videos really focused on arrowheads where you can just go and create arts, and, you know, it's sort of more using the line tool you can you can create line tools and spirals and all kinds of stuff you know and then by selecting those tools you can go and choose the arrowheads you want to be associated with that and you can change the scaling and all, all that kind of stuff which there's a lot off you know multiple select create different types of arrowheads so this is very nice if you're creating flowcharts especially I like to use Illustrator sometimes to do flowcharts but when you want to do something just fun that that's sort of more art oriented and doesn't have the you know doesn't need to just be used by the line brush or the, the line tool, there's different ways of doing this. For example, if I go into my brush tool and just do like some strokes here, a random stroke with my brush tool, and then select, I cannot add arrowheads to those anymore. So arrowheads do not apply to just freehand brush strokes, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And then, of course, once you've got these brushes, you can export them to other apps and use them in Photoshop or whatever. So let me delete all this and show you what I mean by creating uh, more custom-oriented brushes in, in Illustrator. Um, the first thing I want to do is, again, just go to my brush tool. Just press B for the brush tool. And I'm just going to... You want to you wanna try and work in a fairly horizontal vertical line. I'll show you later why. But... I'm just going to make a couple of strokes here, just random strokes. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want. I'll just make this a little thinner, add another couple of strokes. Have some sort of type of shape going on here that goes to a point that's a little wild. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly add a tip to this line that I just created. In fact, I want to smooth some of this out, so let me just pull some of these lines out. I really like the smooth tool in Illustrator. So going down to my menu here, click on the pencil tool. You can select the smooth tool and then oh, I'm just going to select this first. Go to the smooth tool and then just drag over the lines you've created. And it just sort of smooths out the line to be a little bit more, you know, take out all the little shaky moves that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. And you can just use the smooth tool and it's sort of a rough line, you don't have to go exact. Overlap these. And uh, try to create some type of point there. And uh, what I want to do next is, I'm just going to actually rotate this one a little bit. Just trying to have fun with some creative concept of arrow. Just going to zoom in a little bit here, get a little closer. Press P to select your pen tool. And just create a very basic triangle here that would resemble the tip of the arrow. It's a little big, but it doesn't matter. We're going to reshape this. Now go to the direct selection tool, A, on the keyboard, and just you know, make it a little smaller. Whatever works. Move this in a little bit, and what I want to do is convert these points to arcs. So I'm going to go down to the pen tool again and choose the convert anchor point tool, shift C. I have mine set to the shortcut. And when you click the edges here, you can actually manipulate the handle. So I'm actually going to just, yeah, I'm going to do that on this side and do a similar sort of thing on the other side. So it has this arc here of an arrow coming in convert and then just bring it in a little bit so you have a little bit of an arrow shape right there that's just rough when uh, I get to the actual concept of what I'm trying to achieve here so we can move this a little around give it a little bit of asymmetrical feel zoom out I want to fill this, so I'm going to go down here and choose the light paint bucket option. I need to just 
That happens in Illustrator sometimes when you choose things too quick, it doesn't take. So there we have some type of a basic brush shape that um, still this arrow points a little too big. I'm going to bring it in even more. Group all this, select everything you've created, go up to object and just group it all together. And then open up your brushes window. Mine is already here on the side, but I'm just going to bring up my brushes tab. If you don't know where that is, you can go up to Window and just select Brushes. Mine is set to F5. I think that's the default, and it will bring it up here. Now all I'm going to do is really drag and select all this, click anywhere inside this, and drop it onto your brush section. This will pop up a menu that allows you or asks you what you want to create. Scatter brush, art brush, pattern brush. I like to use art brush in this case. So I'm going to select art brush, click OK. And this will bring up a second window where I can actually now give this uh, name. I can change all kinds of settings about the brush that I want to do uh, is adding here. And you can come back later and, and adjust these settings again if you want to. So I'm just going to click on the direction right to left. And that's about it. Now I'm just going to say click OK and it will get added here. I'm going to delete this. I don't need it anymore. And now if I go back to my line tool and just start dragging some lines out, then go and select those lines and just select them all at the same time and then click on this brush tool and automatically add the shapes to those lines. Or you could just go back to your actual brush tool. I'm just going to press B and this is where it gets really funky. I can just create lines and do whatever I want to do and have really cool results of arrows. Get very creative here with some really nice arrows. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this feature. I think it's very powerful. I can, of course, take this out, export to Photoshop, and do all kinds of additional things with it. But it's especially handy if you're building um, you know, menu overlays or user interfaces where you just want to get more creative with the type of arrows you use in your design. So you can like I said before, go back and change these brush options again. I'm currently still on this brush that I've started this exercise with. So if I just click on this little drop down menu at the top, you just go down to brush options. I can get that same menu back where I can change the settings of this brush. And I did want to point out here this blue line, the directional line indicates in which direction, you know, start is the start and the end end of the brush. So this is why you kind of want to work in a horizontal or vertical fashion to make sure that this coincides with the options given here in this menu. If you start creating brushes that have a di diagonal sort of layout, and then you get here, you won't be able to choose the proper direction for it. And you can get some really interesting results if you want to sort of play around with that. You get some funky perspective results. Um, and then also, you know, the color. I can go down here and I can say, let's say, tints. And I can choose tints, say apply to all strokes. And if I now go back, to my current color and choose blue, which is green, and do more brushes here, I can now get the green arrows. And that's really it. So I hope you guys liked it. Also do some really funky things here if you use the blend tool where you select some arrows, start, finish, and then go and double click the blend tool and give it some steps. Let's make it 32 steps. You get some really interesting results here. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it and uh, find it useful to maybe create some nice, cool, creative arrows for anything you might be designing in the future. Thank you.